My name is Paolo Faraboli. I am a professor at the University of Washington and the director of the Automobile Lamborghini Advanced Composite Structures Laboratory. The lab was established in 2007 by Automobile Lamborghini SPA, uh, based in Italy, with the intent to provide cutting-edge technology in the area of carbon fiber composites for Lamborghini by interacting with the U.S. partners, in particular Boeing. In 2007, Lamborghini decided to pursue a very aggressive um, campaign to reduce the weight of their vehicles, in particular by uh, developing you know, very novel uh, carbon fiber composite technologies. The car that was in production at the time, the Murcielago, uh, featured uh, um, quite a bit of composite material on its chassis, but you know, in the order of 30%, and Lamborghini wanted to increase that to 50% or more. In order to do that, uh, the challenges were to, to achieve the right production rates and production costs to meet the targets that the company had set forth. So for that reason, they established this laboratory here called the ACSL and a larger one in Italy at the factory uh, called ACRC. Uh, Advanced Composites Research Center. And the idea was at the time, and still is today, that we at the ACSL developed the new technologies and come up with new uh, concepts and ideas and then pass them on to the ACRC, which then develops them into real working full-scale prototypes. And that eventually gets passed on to the production for uh, everyday production. Now, the manifesto for the future supercar that the president of Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann, announced in 2010 uh, saw a dramatic change with respect to the past, whereby top speed was no longer a priority for Lamborghini, but acceleration was. Acceleration that ties directly with the emotion, and that is what the customer is more likely to experience uh, when owning a Lamborghini. So while some of our competitors were still aiming for the world records of top speed, achieving you know, um, speeds in excess of 250 miles an hour, we decided to level off at, the lev at about what we had at the time of the Murcielago, which is about 230, because that additional 20 miles an hour does not really uh, Yield, you know, requires a lot of work in terms of increasing horsepower and having engines that are in excess of a thousand uh, horsepower, but at the same time does not lead directly to a, an increased experience and emotion for the driver. So instead of increasing the horsepower uh, to, to, to achieve the, you know, even higher speeds, Lamborghini decided to pursue a lightweight uh, strategy whereby the power to weight ratio, which is the key parameter, which is the ratio of the vehicle mass to its power, is increased not by increasing horsepower, but by decreasing the weight. And so through this lightweight you know, strategy, Lamborghini was able to achieve much faster 0 to 60 accelerations than any of its predecessors and competitors. The Aventador, um, introduced in 2011, has a 0 to 60 of 2.9 seconds uh, compared to the Murcielago, which was 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds because it was heavier, although the horsepower hasn't changed dramatically. And the Sesto Elemento technology demonstrator that we introduced in 2010 that featured 90% carbon fiber was 0 to 16 under 2.5 seconds. Uh, again, for the reason being that we kept, uh, Lamborghini wanted to keep the same powertrain as the production Gallardo, but replace the aluminum frame and body with the carbon uh, frame and body. And that weight reduction with the same powertrain led to over one second of reduction in the 0 to 60. So the power to weight ratio is the, the most important metric for Lamborghini today and you know because that does translate directly into the experience that the customer has when starting you know at a light or a non ramp or in many daily situations when he operates the vehicle. And so you know after all Lamborghini is all about the emotion and so it's about the the roaring of the engine it's about the the acceleration that pushes you to the back of the seat.
And it's about that gut feeling that uh, very few other supercars in the world can give. So yeah, this laboratory is a, uh, a unique, uh, you know, organization uh, worldwide. Uh, not only because it, it's strictly focused on um, industrial research, but also because it ties directly within the organization of the company. Uh, so we directly feed into the Lamborghini R&D division and uh, unlike some other laboratories which may still work you know in close collaboration with industry we don't generate just ideas that can eventually get evaluated but we are supposed to generate ideas specifically that Lamborghini needs to be competitive in the next few years. So that exposes the laboratory members to very practical work, uh, also gives them the ability to see the results of their work on the road within a year from conception or so, and also allows us to really pursue extremely novel and in some cases, like you know, revolutionary ideas in carbon fiber technology, just because we have the support of Lamborghini that gives us that capability. Um, so it is indeed, you know, a, a, you know, a unique environment in that regard. Um, just as an example, we, we, you know, with Boeing, we worked for several years to develop a new carbon fiber technology that uses chopped random carbon fibers. And those were utilized in the 787 for several hundred parts. And then that technology was taken by Callaway Golf uh, and utilized for their Razor Hawk and Diablo Octane clubs, as well as every future you know, derivative of uh, drivers. We took that same technology, which was called, that is called now Forge Composite Technology, and we then applied it to Lamborghini, which has now been using it for the Sesto Elemento, the Aventador J, the Urus, and the Veneno. So pretty much every car that has come out you know, from Lamborghini has utilized in some shape or form that forged composite technology we developed first with Boeing and then with Callaway. And so that has now become a um, bit of a revolution in the world of carbon fiber for a number of reasons, but also in, in last but not least for its looks. Uh, and so we have now a lot of uh, Lamborghini partner companies in several areas of uh, products from sporting goods to consumer goods that are now trying to utilize the Forge Composite technology for their uh, products, whether it's a mountain bike, a snowboard binding, or a pair of sunglasses. Lamborghini is not just a vehicle, it's not just a car, but it's really a state of mind. And as such, the, the customer that buys a Lamborghini is after a, a very particular emotion, the emotion of the indomitable, the emotion of the untamable. And that is achieved through many characteristics of the car, from the fact that it's low to the ground and in some cases difficult to get in and out of, from the fact that the doors you know, often open upwards instead of sideways, from the fact that you have tremendous amount of horsepower, and uh, other details such as the amazing uh, roar of the engine. But perhaps the one that it's the most rewarding of, the, of them all is the fact that when you push that pedal and you accelerate from a still position to even just 35 miles an hour, the sheer you know, momentum that you achieve is enough to push your, you know, gutter, you know, your, push your guts and your head against the seat. And that is something that, you know, it's you know, literally comparable to what a fighter jet, you know, pilot experiences. Or at least it, Lamborghini has developed a, an, an ability over the years to give that feeling. Uh, for example, many of our competitors have gone to the route of electric cars and others have gone to the route of double clutches. And for Lamborghini, those are uh, by all means um, big uh, impediments toward 
customer emotion and experience. Uh, the electric vehicle makes no noise, which removes completely the sensation of the roaring of the engine, and double clutch reduces that very sharp engaging of the clutch when you switch gears and all of these you know that whiplash that that you know gets you against the seat and so all of these things are are you know very particular so you know it, we've been working on other means to by which to improve, improve efficiency and decrease emissions again by lightweighting the the the, the car but ultimately the the now the most important uh, parameters for the success of a program at Lamborghini are first and foremost acceleration and then only later handling and lastly top speed so while up until the late you know the mid 2000s and definitely in the 80s and the 90s the first one was top speed the second one was acceleration and the third one was handling so there's been a dramatic shift in 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 how Lamborghini perceives their products